I'm Leif Bakken. And I'm Gemma Biasetto. And we're here to tell you about the human versus zombies rules because we know you're not going to read it. Let's face it, reading is not fun. We do enough of it in school, so <laughs> let's get to it. Wear your bandana. So if you're a zombie, you will have a red bandana, so you're going to wear it either around your neck or around your head. And if you're a human, you wear a green bandana, which is around your arm because we survive. It's kind of like the survivor code. Once you're a zombie, you are always a zombie. There is no special antidote to become human again or whatever. Um, just, you're a zombie. But don't worry, because if you get a lot of tags as a zombie, you do win a prize at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the time. So uh, if you do get tagged, we encourage you to go and get other humans, and uh, then uh, it'll all work out for you. Humans can throw balled up socks at the zombies to defend themselves. And this will stun the zombie for 30 seconds, and uh, the humans must hit a part of the zombie. No book bags, uh, maybe not any hats. I mean, if you're wearing some, like, sombrero hat that's <laughs> sticking way out, I might, I might count, you know, but um, let's see, what else? So if you are a sun zombie, you can wait it out right then and there and count out your 30 seconds, um, out loud, of course, but if you just are running a little late to class and you get tagged um, by a human sock, then you can make your way to class. You don't have to necessarily just stand there and wait it out. So it's your choice. But if you do stand there and wait it out, make sure you count out loud. Zombies, on the other hand, you must tag humans on their person as well. Once again, no book bags when you're tagging humans. Good point, because we don't want any cheaters. Which brings us to the next point, don't be that guy. Don't be the poor sport. Yeah, we hate those. Like, don't ruin it for everyone. Just don't do it. With that note, listen to the officials. There will be multiple people with different colored bandanas you can talk to, ask your questions, and if they see what's going on, uh, they will catch you and make sure everything is being played fair. If you see either myself or Leaf around or any of the other um, students that are running this game. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions or um, if you know somebody's not playing by the rules or anything, let us know so you can, we can help you. Help us help you. That brings us to the next thing, Gemma, about bandanas. We're going to remind you about exactly. the bandana rule. Once again, if you are a zombie, you are red. Think red, death, blood, gore, all that nasty stuff. Zombies, decaying, you know. And then green for humans, life. That's all I got for green. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not wearing a bandana, you are not in play. So that's a very important rule. No cheating. Yes, remember that because you need to have your bandana on you at all times as the game is being played throughout the week. Which also means if they're not wearing a bandana, they're not part of the game. So you cannot give your bandana off to somebody else to play for you. Once again, not part of the rules. If you're caught without your bandana and we find out you are signed up to play, we will kick you out of the game. No prizes for you if we find out you cheated that way. So don't let all your hard work go to waste. Um, up next is safe zones, Lee. Yeah. Um, inside buildings. Of course, we are students. We have to attend class. So if you are inside the building, you are safe. With that in mind, both feet must be inside the building to be safe. When you're leaving a building, though, you are protected for five feet or five seconds, whichever comes first. So this is where your strategies come in. Zombies can linger outside. They can strategize whatever they want to help um, band together and get the human race. So uh, it's your time to be cautious and be a little smart. It's recommended you count out loud. Yeah, for your own safety. Outside classes, so sometimes we have those professors that are saying, oh, finally the snow has melted. It's time to go outside. So if you do have class outside, you are protected in your safe zone with your instructor. But as soon as your instructor tells you that class is over, it's a, it's a free killing spree, I guess. Also, we haven't forgotten about you athletes who want to participate. At any athletic official practice or game, you as an athlete are safe. As for the audience who are participating, you are free for all. So be careful out there when you're uh, at an athletic event. Yeah, we wouldn't be good to have any zombies chasing any human athletes in the middle of practice. I don't, couldn't imagine that going over well. It would be funny, but <laughs> probably frowned upon. Um, well, Gemma, I think that does it for our humans versus zombies rules. It does. So, at least uh, round one anyway, so we're going to 
keep you guys posted. Make sure if you have any questions or anything like that, we will have Facebook pages up and ready in the link. Um, anything else? That should do it. Have fun. See you out there.